in a hadith, in the hadith of Bukhari and Muslim, uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, the hour will not be established until two great armies fight, and there will be much killing between them, even though their call is one. And most scholars agree that this hadith is referring to the battle of Sufin. Two great armies came, and they were both calling to the same thing. Both of them were, wanted to avenge the death of Uthman. One group saying, we're going to avenge the death of Uthman right now, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll kill those who kill the Uthman right now. Others were saying, no, we'll kill them, but not now, but when things calm down. So the Battle of Sufin was this great, great battle that happened, and there were many great companions uh, in it, and it was basically the, the army of Ali on one hand and the, the army of Muawiyah on the other. But it was not based, uh, it was not about who's going to be the Khalifa or any of that nonsense. It was completely, uh, both groups sincerely thought they were fighting for the sake of Allah Azza this was in the 36th or 37th, 37th year after the Hijrah. And one of the most amazing things is just to see how these people, uh, were able to clearly separate between the problems they had. And it was a battle, the likes of which, they, I mean, there's never been one uh, in the history of humanity. And there will probably never ever be one like that again. They would have such a severe battle during the day, and then when the battle stops at night, they go into each other's camps, they pray behind each other, they eat and have dinner with each other and chit-chat, and then they go back to their camp in the morning, to their prospective camps, respective camps, and then fight again the next day. That means they were able to recognize the difference between, yes, this is my brother. And I, do th- I don't think he's a hypocrite, I don't think he's a kafir, I don't make the fear of him. He's a genuine believer, and I love him, and he's my brother, and I have no problem with him. On this Except this issue, that's the only issue I have with him. So I'm willing to fight over him over this issue because I believe for the sake of Allah this is the truth. And he believes for the sake of Allah this is the truth, but I'm not going to let this spill over into other things. And just very quickly here, and what I'm trying to say from this is that we can learn a very valuable lesson. If someone makes one mistake, I don't discredit every other good that he's done. And I don't make the fear of him and call him a hypocrite, which is what happens now, mashallah, on social media. If one person makes a mistake or makes one comment, then every good that they've done becomes cancelled immediately. And they're hypocrites and useless and took fear. And people call each other kuffar and everything. Why can't we separate between the two? I disagree with you on issue A. But you're still a good person. You're still a believer. I still trust you with my wealth. I still believe you're a good person. You're not a liar. Yeah, and that's what yeah, a lesson that can be learned from the Battle of Sufi. But like we said, so this is an, an, a hadith. It says the hour will not be established until two great armies fight and there will be much killing between them even though their call is one. What if someone says, well maybe this is the Armageddon, the battle between the Dajjal and the, the believers and the army of the Dajjal. No, because their call is not one here. They have different calls here. That's why a lot of the scholars believe this was the battle of Sufin that has already taken place. A world of knowledge awaits you. Enroll now at almaghrib.org.